Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Chaos Craft. Uh, oh dang, stopping in here for the first time today. But they've been very active, placing blocks in the sky. Which is very interesting. Um, so some new fun stuff. Uh, today I changed the screen around a little bit, so now I've got this toggle button here, so that's less annoying. And I fixed the bug that stopped these things from showing when they were missing a node. And I figured out why they're not equipping because my equipping mechanism, when I switched it over to add in the ranges, the specific ranges of distance, so like you players X plus two through the players X plus three or five, we'll say. And so there's like a, a range in space. And if that's this type of block or that type of entity crosses that type of spot and whatever, then it'll do trigger that behavior. Well, I screwed up on the item output. And so it should just be... They should just be a series of item IDs, um, and they're not. But I just deployed that fix, so that should help. But that explains why, when we went to the leaderboard, the Gen Zeros had it, because I have the, um, this base behavior equipped. Um, that, uh, that Gen Zeros get. And that's why we weren't seeing anything higher than that, because none of the other guys were equipping, which, of course, screws up their placing blocks, et cetera, et cetera. It's interesting that every single one of them had the place block deleted, or the equip deleted from their nodes. Now that I think about it, let's take a look at age and just pull up a Gen 2. That's a Gen 1. Gen 1 will do. That means that every single one of them lost their basic equip um, basic instinct equip. So basic instinct, uh, just to refresh your memory, there's a little, oh, what the hell, this guy's brain's not loading. Oh, this guy got deleted. At a lower levels that they, uh, they're, you know, below, like, generation three, I delete them a lot of times because they just clog up stuff, and if they make it to gen three, then they're kind of interesting at least. Go dashboard. I also added in a search tool here, and sorry again for previous videos. They, uh, the screencastify seems to freeze up my system on Ubuntu quite a bit, so let's take a look and see if this guy's got an equip. No, it looks like he lost his basic instincts too. Oh wait, maybe not. Let's see if this is a generated one. This is a generated one. This is one that was generated pre my fix, hopefully. Let me just double check to make sure I put that master. So that's good. It should be deploying shortly, so this guy must have been generated a while ago. I don't feel like doing a massive system reset right now. Um, oh, and I added in search tool. So I was thinking about, and uh, guys, feel free to comment on this. I was thinking about releasing this thing instead of having it on my local machine, um, releasing this for you guys to play around with. What I'd need then is to add in authentication because I just can't have everybody hitting, you know, anybody besides myself right now hitting the master reset, um, which would trigger you know, all the bots basically to be erased, which I only do with very massive updates. And so I have to add in authentication. But if this is something you guys are interested in, what I'm kind of wondering is if there's other people out there with other servers too that would want to be like list their servers or for those of you guys trying to run these things, you know, you guys could run the bots and I could give you guys like a login where you guys can authenticate. Um, and then that way we could have more of these bots going on. So just something to think about. Comment if you guys, you know, what your thoughts are on that. Would you guys like to be able to log in and, you know, see these tools and pull up the... Uh, the top view, which is pretty, you know, copper, uh, pretty, see the world top view for those of you guys that don't remember it. I'm going to have to hit this, load this page twice because I doubt this guy's, I, bet, I doubt this part of the world's cache. So what it's doing right now, yeah, it's not going to find any of the world, but the bot's going to upload all the world around it. And then when I refresh this page again in a little bit, it, I should have a nice little picture of the world um, from the top of the, bot's viewpoint and anything it doesn't have looks like lava so we're missing a chunk of it or something because i haven't done it yet but hopefully we can see it in a second well that loads up oh, there we go so 
would you guys like access to this type of stuff? So you guys can poke around in here and watch, you know, the bot and see its brain moving in somewhat real time and, you know, see the inputs and outputs. Oh, middles don't have anything. There goes the input. So nothing's clearly triggering that. But if you see my previous videos on this stuff. You guys can take a look. Man, there's not a lot of outputs, this guy. Oh, well, I'm getting sidetracked. So, um, that's my update is that I just released, I figured out why they're not equipping, I believe. And so that should increase the number of these guys equipping stuff and placing blocks, hopefully in more new places. I'm just cruising around here for, since I got a couple more minutes before screencastify freaks out, seeing if anybody's made it to the desert. We got a couple guys that made it this far. It looks like just judging by those holes. Yeah, that hole looks like it's probably done by one of these guys. Yeah, see, there's one right over here. Staring up at the sky. But hopefully we'll see some higher generation stuff um, now that I patched that equip issue. Hopefully we'll see some cool behaviors. Yeah, you can see this level is getting pretty dug up. You can see the concentration of digging. I if there's anybody else digging the top off of trees, because that seems to be something else they like doing up. Looks like someone dug the bottom out of that tree. Nope, no, it's just there. Yep, we just got the dirt blocks. I just love to place the dirt blocks all over the random place. Oh, I can't wait till they start doing structures or something like that again. I want to see like another structure like we had that. L structure from that one video a while ago. Go back and find the one that said we've got our first structures. That's pretty. That was a pretty cool day for me. So yeah, I'm curious about your guys' thoughts. Where should I go with this? Um, yeah, where you guys want me to expose this? At like, I think I bought ChaosEngine.com or something like that, or like IO. So. Um, would you guys like to be able to log in and use that tool? Would you guys like to be able to host this stuff? And again, if anybody's in the gaming industry or knows anybody in the gaming industry that wants to work on unpredictable AI and involving their own AI mechanics for their games, I'd love to talk to them. There's some fun neural network genetic learning, alg yeah, genetic learning algorithm stuff we can do. I really like the concept of a game where you can manipulate your environment. This is what I'm hoping to see these guys do more of. Um, Besides so just placing blocks at random in the air. So, all right. Oh, oh boy, what's this? No, it's probably not my guys. I doubt that's. Guys. All right. Thanks again. This is Matt with Chaos Craft. Um, you know, we're starting to see some more behaviors. Uh, hopefully, we'll see a lot more. I'll let you guys know. Thanks. Um, for those of you guys trying to install the program to uh, see if you guys can run it locally, that's awesome. So, thank you. Take it easy.